When we talk about cybersecurity, we're interested in the CIA triad, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Now, availability often has hardware involved, and boy, have we got some hardware to show you. Secure Ninja. Hi everyone, we're here with Ernie from Verizon, and we're here with Thor. This is a magnificent machine, Ernie. Tell us a little bit about Thor. What is its purpose? Well, this is Thor. This is Verizon's tactical humanitarian operational response platform. And Thor is a 4G and 5G cell on wheels. We respond to disasters as well as network augmentation and humanitarian events. Amazing. So how many cell phone calls can Thor handle at one time? Approximately 13 to 15,000 at one time. 13 to 15,000, that's amazing. Um, you mentioned that you can augment traffic and you can do disaster recovery. Yes. Um, 15,000 calls. Um, how do you do backhaul? How do you get those cell signals into Thor to retransmit them? Well, if we're in a, in a place where there is fiber, we can get a 10 gig fiber connection, we'll connect to that and we'll use that as our backhaul. Otherwise, if we're in an austere location or in a storm ravaged area, then we'll either go via satellite backhaul or a point to point microwave backhaul. And of course, Verizon has a large network in the country. There's probably going to be some kind of Verizon infrastructure not that far away. How far away can you be from the, the nearest point of contact? If we're going with um, point to point microwave, if you go with 10 gig, you're looking at about three miles. If we you know, need to go farther than that, we can go 10 to 15 miles with 100 megabit digitally, micro, digitally steerable microwave. Excellent, so yeah, obviously the further the distance, we're gonna to have to go a little bit lower in our, our band rate, our bit yes, rate. Yes, and then to, if we're more remote than that, then we would go out over the satellite. Okay, excellent. And, um, you know, we know from satellites that if they're in geosynchronous orbit, there's gonna be a little bit of latency. Do you guys have another way? Um, at the moment, right now, the Trident Troop tested is using geosynchronous satellite. We are in the process of, you know, like rolling out into some NEO applications that have auto tracking antennas, and we are at the moment also currently looking at uh, LEO you know, as a uh, backhaul. Yeah, well, I mean, for years all we had was satellite, right, before we had fiber, and that little bit of latency, quarter second, is not that terrible. Well, you know, you're in the disaster recoveries situation you've got a flood you got a hurricane or something like this what if there's nowhere to plug into how are you going to power the beast we, we bring Thor. our own power with you us. bring your own power let's have a look so this vehicle has two 12k generators on board the vehicle will run on one but we actually have two one as a backup or if we have a call for more power then we can fire them both up at the same time wow two 12 kilowatts wow excellent well, Arnie, thank you so much for showing us Thor. It was a pleasure talking to you. Pleasure talking to you too. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Now listen, we've got a lot more content coming from West 2022. So please remember to subscribe and to like, and we'll see you again soon.